Penners, right dude, this is my um, fourth attempt at making this video. Uh, it's taken me nearly a week, uh, hopefully we'll get there. Um, I'm going to have to kind of backtrack and show you what I've done, mate. Uh, I keep getting interrupted and whatnot, which is fine, which is fine. So I think one day game day has passed, collected a hell of a lot of wood. I thought that was somebody in our food market, I was about to go batshit. Collected a hell of a lot of wood, which you'll see up here in preparation for uh, defences. Uh, you know, I'm coming to realise, mate, that they, they've changed something with the game. Um, I've chosen hardcore mode, but maybe it's the initial start time uh, has like ruined it because I don't know where the hell everybody is. Um, the game should be a hell of a lot harder than this. So this crate over here is like now my farming sort of crate. It's got all my farming stuff. I've equipped the spade that we found, or the shovel. Sorry, it's an American term now. Uh, the damage isn't too bad on that. Let's have a look at the swing. It's a nice sound, eh? And what I've done is I've just gone over here and I've taken some dirt. You see, take some dirt, empty sandbags. So we'll do it again with the next one. I've got three empty sandbags, or I had three empty sandbags. If anyone knocks at the door, I think I'll be inclined to. Um, yeah. Right, take some dirt. So you can add it to the dirt bag you've got. You see, that one's full. I've done the four times there. So it fills it up by quarters. Uh, fairly heavy load. Okay, fairly heavy load. It's going to get heavier. Eat half the uh, what? Man, or eat the other half. Worms. You'll soon find out that you uh, discover them when you're digging around in dirt. You can use them for fishing as uh, as bait. We aren't that close to. Um, any water at this point, so maybe later we'll try and get some fishing done. Oh, I, it was unnecessary for me to like ruin all these bits of grass, but hey ho. Right, so we've got a fair bit of dirt here. That's going to come back into our um, controlled area. If uh, zombies step over your crops, mate, they ruin them. It's not nice. Um, so we're going to pour out dirt. Yeah. So here we have it. And it's not a bad idea to kind of stagger it. Because unless they've changed something, if one of your crops gets diseased and it's next to another one, like adjacent to it, um, it fucks it up really. Um, you know, the disease spreads. So, yeah, not a bad idea to sort of stagger it out. And once these windows get caved in, you know, they'll come flooding through here. But it might, you know, that might make me inclined to sort of board these up. In fact, should we be getting anyone come in here? Well, there's a door there and it's closed. They'd have to bust that down first. We'll start thinking about all this stuff and we'll start doing roof escapes as well. Um, but I say it might be totally unnecessary. We might just better grab a shotgun and go out and take care of all of the um, weak cast zombies. Yeah, let's do that. So if they break through here, we're in a bit of trouble, but whatever. So these spots here, we're going to dig them, we're going to use our trowel, dig them, we're going to plant seeds. Um, and we are going to grow some crops. We've got some fertilizer and that speeds it up. I'd recommend using that straight away because basically what you're going to looking to do is to improve your um, farming skill, you know, by, uh, by farming early. Let's get the axe back. All right, okay. We'll need the fertilizer, but first things first, we're going to need some water. So that bucket's coming into our uh, inventory, um, and it's quite a lot of water that this stuff needs. Once it starts raining and whatnot, the season changes. Um, you know, you'd be better off. I'm just trying to think where the nearest tap is. It's probably going to be in here. I don't know if I've been in here yet. So the other weird thing is that all these doors and all these windows are opening quite easily, and that's 
uh, not my normal experience of the game. Most things are locked, and you've also got like alarms that go off and um, you know completely piss all over your cereal because oh rotten bread. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Kettle. I'll tell you what, we're going to take the kettles because we need them. We need them. Later on when the water stops altogether, you use kettles to uh, boil the rainwater that you've collected uh, to make it safe. Pie slice. Where was that? Give me the pie slice. I think my guy's earned it. Oh no, no. It's gone bad. Well, whatever. There's toilets here, there's going to be sinks and uh, toilets. There's no shame in uh, drinking from the toilet, mate, when the time comes. So it, it will come. So let's take the wood. Those two planks we could do with as well. Oh shit. Extremely heavy load. That's what I don't want, really. Oh, I can do that while I'm walking, that's nice. Run out of food, you can just get some more food in us. But mate, just as an example example, I'll um I'll show you what this is about. So in fact the plank. We're gonna build another crate. No, we can't build another crate because we'll be dropped our hammer. We're gonna build another crate and what we're gonna put in this new crate is the kettle stuff, so let's try it here. Build a crate here. And then what we'll do, we'll build some rain collector barrels around it when the time comes, and then we can just put our kettles and cooking pots and stuff in there. Alright. So trowel in here? No no fuck off. I'm sure I had a trowel. There it is. So we might as well let's go for some more strawberries. We'll plant some strawberries first of all. Oh dig, I need to dig. I've got to dig all these plots. So here we go. Dig, dig and dig. Let's do one row of strawberries. I think uh, recollection. I think cabbage might grow the quickest. So, you know, if we've got cabbage seeds, we'll check in a second. Um, that's going to be the best way to do it. Bucket of water. Um, I'll play around and see how much water the stuff needs. I'll put 30 on there. Info dry. Okay. Water 30. Thirsty. Water 40. There you go. Well, it took the whole thing basically. So. And that's it mate, so it's going to be much of the same, I'm not going to bore you, but we're going to repeat that up and down here, plant the strawberries, make sure you've got the water before you plant it, uh, you don't want it drying out. And then this is going to be a little vegetable patch for us, um, sort of early game strategy dude, I will catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> 